Hello, and welcome to Team Builder Generation 3, the latest and greatest simulator in making your own M60 teams. This short video will go over some of the basics. A more detailed video will come out sometime in the next month or so to give you a full technical rundown. Let us begin at the very start. Team Builder 3 is a stat project where you make your own MCC teams and see how balanced they are statistically and even simulate how they would perform. To start, in your web browser, go to teambuilder.mcc.tips to access this template. From there, go, go to File, make a copy, and hit OK. Once you're in your own copy, you can start simming. Simply go to these cells, and then enter the player you want by either using this arrow as a drop-down, or entering the player you want in the box. If you so desire, you can even change the name of the team. As you fill in data, this big block of data here will grow will grow to show you the scores and stats of your chosen players and teams. From left to right, we've got average scores, the average coins from each player, RPR, a relative performance rating that gives players a score out of 100, last event, the method that Scott uses where it is the score of the last event they played in, average placement, average team plays in, and season 2 average, the average score in only season 2. Using this, you can go and change teams to make them balance as desired. Died. Once you've done, this array will be filled, filled and you also have these stats at the, bo at the bottom. bottom. This includes a duplicate detector and the ranges of each team. The range being the, the highest score minus the lowest, so the smaller the number, the more statistically balanced these teams are. Scrolling to the right, we have a fully customizable leaderboard. Here you can select a category to get a full display of this leaderboard. Right next to that, we've got we have the end of leaderboards for each game individually. This could provide you more detailed stats for more detailed balancing. Balancing. If we were to go back all the way to the far left, we've got the control panel. From top to bottom, we've got some ba some basic information and the version number. Uh, some simplified info. The data input put. In order to update the stats using this, simply go to here and paste the text to file in here. You will receive these stats that's from the MCC Tips Twitter. Also, do not worry, this is also auto-checking, so if there is in any error, it will tell you right here. Down here, we've got the control panel. Spoiler mode blacks out all the stats, so you can save the big reveal of who's the best team till after you're done. Uh, player sort changes how the, the sorting in the drop down occurs, it's allowing you to see stats on the fly for balancing, and the icon tab changes what type of icons. If you wish to manually override them, ride them, you can enter the URLs here. Finally, we've got the Sable Sims. Turning this off will enable the simulation tab tab at the very bottom over here. Note that, that this is not recommended for performance reasons. 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 And especially not good while you are still team building. Performance can be indicated left here. But this green bar shows that there is still some calculations ongoing. Going. Please wait for that to complete to receive your results. The simulator works by calculating every single possible game game order using nine possible games which you can select here. Then it is in the state here. So for an example, Cyan team 
has 100% chance of coming first place and makes Dodge Bolt 100% of the time along with Pur along with Purple. If you want to see more detailed results, go to the Simulator tab. There you can see a all list of orders and a calculated score each team will get in each order. Well, again, as demonstrated here, there are performance concerns, so be careful. Going back, 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 back to orders, you can also simulate a, an order of your choosing here. You would simply enter the order you would like here, and then the results of this comes out here. For going further along the list, list we've got a text border, exporter here, allowing you to export the teams, the teams, in a text form for you to copy and paste. Here we've got a primitive dodgeball simulator. This dodgeball simulator is still not finished and will receive more updates coming up. Stay tuned for this. This. There is also a visual text exporter by going to the exporter tab, tab and then zooming out to, to the bits of the zoom where you can fit it all into frame you can frame, you can then have a good screenshot for you to take with the results in the center and the teams all around. I'll now go over some frequently asked questions. Question for the question one. How do I add a new player to the sheet? Adding a new player in Team Builder 3 is very simple. Simply go to the cell in which you would add a new player Click th this button up here to unmerge the cells. On the left side, enter the player that this new person is equivalent to. On the right, enter the name of this new player. From now on, this, this player will have the name in the right cell, but have the stats of the left one. Left one. So you can see, see how this player would perform with equivalent, st with equivalent stats. Question 2. Does this work on mobile? While Team Builder 3, 3 has, should have no issues working on mobile, it is a performance heavy, heavy sheet and there is, could be a lot of issues. Please note there is no reason why it shouldn't work, however your results may not be as satisfactory and desktop is strongly recommended. Question 3. If you have some more detailed questions you want you want to know how in depth work, check out the longer technical explanation video that should be in the description when it comes out. Also, also follow at MCCTips underscore on Twitter for for updates on the team builder and stats. Join our Discord in the description to ask us some questions. And final reminder. In order to access Team Builder free, go to teambuilder.mcc.tips.